Hi everybody, here I have Lenovo ThinkPad T14 S Generation 1 laptop. This is a laptop from 2021. It's available either with AMD Ryzen CPU or with Intel CPU. This model is with an Intel CPU. Um, because this laptop is nowadays three years old, you can find it at a very good price. Actually, great value for money. And uh, this is exactly what I what I did. I bought it as a second-hand item because there was an irresistible offer. And uh, here I have it. So let's have a quick look at the technical specifications. And after that, to compare the advantages and disadvantages of T14S Generation 1 with Intel. This is the technical product specification reference document for ThinkPad T14S Generation 1 with Intel CPU. This laptop supports 10th generation Intel Core i5 and i7 processors. The majority of the uh, processors work with 4 cores and 8 threads. However, there are models with Core i7 uh, CPUs that have 6 cores and 12 threads. These are the high-end ThinkPad T14S Generation 1 models. ThinkPad T14S comes with integrated Intel UHD graphics. The RAM is soldered on the system board. There are no slots, so you cannot upgrade it. Make sure you're buying a laptop with the exact memory uh, size that you're gonna need. Lenovo ThinkPad T14S with Intel CPU also comes with Intel Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. This is AX2001. It's soldered on the system board and it provides Wi-Fi 6 plus Bluetooth 5.1. Let's have a look at the available ports on this ThinkPad T14S Generation 1. The majority of the interesting ports are on the left side. Let's start with the far left side of the left side of the laptop. So we have a USB-C 3.2 generation 1 connector which is for charging the laptop. Next to it we have another USB-C connector. This is a USB-C 3.2 generation 2 connector that is Thunderbolt 3 capable which means that you can connect a docking station and Thunderbolt 3 uh, provides higher performance and data transfers compared to regular USB-C. Next to uh, these two USB-C ports, we have an Ethernet extension connector. Please note that due to the slim size of Lenovo ThinkPad T14S, uh, there is no Ethernet uh, connector. Instead of this, we have this Ethernet extension connector, which means that you have to plug an extender if you want to attach a regular LAN cable to this laptop. After that, we can find a USB 3.3 generation 1 connector, which is USB type A. We have an HDMI connector, uh, it's 1.4B. And we have a headphone microphone combo jack that's 3.5 millimeters, so you can attach your headset to it. It is worth to note that there is an indication LED between the two USB-C ports. It supports two colors, white and orange. If you connect a USB-C power supply, you see a white light, which means that it's charging and everything is okay. However, the orange color and a combination between uh, blinking in orange and white can be an indication for a problem and there are different uh, codes if you want to debug a problem on your laptop. If everything is okay, however, you're gonna see this white light. We have less ports on the right side of the laptop. So uh, starting from left to right, on the right side of the laptop, we have a smart card reader that is present only on selected models. After that, we have on the right side of the right side of the laptop, a USB 3.2 generation one that is always on. This is a USB uh, type A. And on the far right, the last thing that we have is a Kensington security slot. On the rear side of Lenovo ThinkPad T14 S generation one, there is a card slot. It is either for micro SD card or a combination of nano SIM and micro SD card. Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Generation 1 comes with magnesium chassis. Uh, actually, the next generations are also with magnesium chassis. And in order to identify which generation you have, you have to look at the label that's available on the back side of the laptop. And it's placed in the um, lower left corner. 
Also on the back side of the laptop, you find the two speakers. There is a left and a right speaker. The sound provided by ThinkPad T14S Generation 1 isn't perfect, but it is decent. All ThinkPads from the T-Series have a similar look. In order to identify yours, you can also have a look at the labels below the screen. On the left, there is the logo of Lenovo, but on the right, you see the exact model, as in this case, T14S. One of the trademarks of the ThinkPads is the keyboard, but in uh, this ThinkPad T14S, there is a change, unlike the keyboard from the T14, on the T14S, the keyboard cannot be easily replaced without disassembling the four laptop. Otherwise, the keyboard is nice. Uh, some keyboards are available with a backlit like this one. Another distinguishing feature of the ThinkPads is the red track point and it's available on this T14S generation one, just like on all other ThinkPads. Another simple but really cool feature that I love is the camera shutter. It was initially introduced with the ThinkPad T480S and now we see it here again on this T14S. Really cool feature, you can mechanically turn on and off the camera. The firmware of ThinkPads, including the firmware on this T14S, includes a tool to diagnose the hardware. In my opinion, this is an outstanding feature in comparison to any other laptops on the market. Turn on the computer and immediately after that, hit enter to stop the normal boot process. After that, from the startup interrupt menu, hit F10 to diagnose the hardware. This convenient tool allows you to verify and test the storage, the battery, the display, the keyboard, the mouse, the RAM, the CPU, the fan, the motherboard, and the PCI Express on your laptop. This is very useful, especially for testing old ThinkPads. I received this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T14S with Microsoft Windows as an operating system, but as you know, I'm an open source enthusiast and a Linux user. So the first thing that I did was to wipe out the um, SSD and to install Ubuntu Linux, one of the very popular and user-friendly Linux distributions out there. I installed Ubuntu 24.04, this is a long-term supported release and as of the moment this is the latest and greatest LTS release of this Linux distribution. As you can see in the video, it takes less than 25 seconds to get into a working system after pressing the power button to turn on the laptop. I haven't done any optimizations. If you spend some time, you can optimize it further and you can get even better results and faster boot times. Keep in mind that this laptop is three years old and this proves that Ubuntu works really well even on older laptops. I have to mention that for the sake of simplicity for this demonstration of the boot time, I have only removed the login screen. However, this is not recommended for your daily setup, security matters, so you better have a login screen enabled to type in the password and select your user. Nowadays, by default, Ubuntu comes with Wayland and the GNOME desktop environment. The hardware of this Lenovo ThinkPad T14S is really good, there are no driver issues, the Linux kernel worked out really well, and I have to say that Ubuntu handles very well on the system. ThinkPad T14S is a great laptop. It has a compact size and a light weight, which of course comes at a price, and I'm not talking about money, but some disadvantages that we're gonna discuss later on. However, if you're looking for uh, an easy to carry laptop, ThinkPad T14S is a great choice. It has a rigid and high quality chassis, very good battery life, the fans are quiet, so um, this is another important advantage. It comes with Wi-Fi 6, which is an advantage compared to the previous models, such as the T490S. Um, the keyboard is comfortable, this is a trademark of uh, all ThinkPads, uh, there is a, a, a track trackpad as usual, and also there is Thunderbolt 3, because this is 
uh, generation one of the T14S laptop. If you buy newer generations, uh, you'll get uh, newer generations of Thunderbolt, for example, Thunderbolt 4. And there is a camera shutter. This is another um, trademark feature of the ThinkPads over here. So yeah, in general, ThinkPad T14S has a lot of advantages and you definitely have to consider buying one. However, let me tell you about the disadvantages. Even the best laptops on the market have some disadvantages and Lenovo ThinkPad T14S is not an exception. Because of the compact size, there are a lot of trade-offs. So let's discuss the disadvantages. Let's start with the first major disadvantage. Because of the compact size, the RAM is soldered on the motherboard. Or, explained in other words, it's not possible to upgrade the RAM. Consider this when you're making a purchase, because you're gonna stay with the uh, size of RAM that you purchase. The other disadvantage coming because of the small size is that there is no Ethernet connector. So if you want to plug a cable into this laptop, you have either to use an extender or a docking station. The keyboard, as I mentioned, is pretty good as an old um, ThinkPad models. However, again, because of the compact size, the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S keyboard cannot be easily replaced without disassembling the whole laptop. You basically have to disassemble the whole laptop, remove the motherboard and then to change the keyboard. For example, the other model, the T14, uh, has a keyboard that can be uh, replaced on the top of the uh, laptop, so without disassembling everything. Also, the speakers on Lenovo ThinkPad T14S are not that good. Actually, uh, none of the T Slim version laptops have uh, very good uh, speakers. The good thing is that it's easy to uh, replace them once they're um, break. Uh, I have a video explaining how to do the speaker replacement on Lenovo ThinkPad T480S. Uh, it's pretty much the same um, on a T14S. So you don't get uh, the best sound with the ThinkPad T14S. They say it's better compared to uh, previous generations like uh, T490S or T480S, but still not the best speakers out there. Uh, it is time to wrap up this video about Lenovo ThinkPad T14S with conclusions. And my verdict is that this is a great laptop if you're looking for a compact and lightweight device that you're gonna carry around. There are some disadvantages that we've discussed and you should consider them before buying one. And I have to say that nowadays ThinkPad T14 uh, S Generation 1 can be found at irresistible, very cheap prices, especially on eBay auctions. Uh, they're newer, generations that provide better quality and better performance. So if you have higher budget, consider using them. Last but not least, I recommend you to switch to Linux and use Linux on this laptop. Uh, T14S as well as T14 are both great choices for Linux users. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.